Periods, puberty, the whole growing up thing. Do you ever just wish you had a user manual for your body? Well, guess what? It exists. I'm Maddie with Red Drop, and we're here to translate all the confusing stuff that comes with being an adult to help you understand your awesome body. First, we're going to talk a little bit about female anatomy and what body parts are the key players that take place during puberty. Then we're going to talk about what changes to expect during puberty. Then we're going to talk a little about how awesome and amazing your unique body is. And we're going to finish it off by addressing some of your most asked questions. So let's get right into this. First up, let's break down your female anatomy. So picture your body as a super complex machine with lots of parts. Your reproductive system is just one of those parts that helps you grow, change, and is responsible for helping make babies. And we got a little surprise today. We're bringing in Eunice the uterus to help us understand the reproductive system. So let's start with the two tiny captains that are in charge of this whole show, and they're called the ovaries. Now Eunice is much smaller than the actual size of our reproductive system, but as you can see, these little purple things right here, these are the ovaries, and they're actually about the size of grapes, and they live tucked away inside your belly. And these guys are responsible for two very important things. Number one, the ovaries are in charge of storing eggs. So they're kind of like a little secret egg factory where they store all the tiny eggs in your body and they release them once a month during ovulation. So they're also in charge of some hormone production. So they make these special chemicals called estrogen and progesterone and these are really the main drivers that help your body grow and change during puberty. Next up we have the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes are this kind of like curved windy part right here and they're are actually about four to five inches long. They take the egg when it's released from the ovaries, takes it right to the uterus. And while it's on its ride through this roller coaster, that's where fertilization can also happen. So now that we're already talking about the uterus, that's the smiley part right here. It's lined with a soft fluffy layer called the endometrium, which is kind of like a big fluffy mattress so that the egg can grow in the best way that it can. And when the egg isn't fertilized, it flows out with your period. But more on that in a later video. And lastly, we got the vagina. Now that's going to be about where this red dot is at the end of your uterus and it's about a three to four inch long muscular tunnel that leads from the inside of your body to the outside world. It's incredibly stretchy and it has this lining that creates a fluid to keep itself clean and healthy. This is also what creates normal discharge. And this is also the place where you bleed from when you get your period. So that's a reproductive system in a nutshell. It works together as a team to make sure that everything's running smoothly in your body. Now why is this all important anyway? Why am I bringing all of this up? These are the body parts that take the lead during puberty. So let's talk a little bit about puberty. Puberty is what happens when your body starts maturing from being a kid to an adult. And and it's kind of like your body's getting this big massive upgrade and you'll experience some temporary changes along the way. So let's break it down. First we have breast buds. Now these are little pea sized lumps that you'll find in your breasts when they start growing. You might feel some breast tenderness and soreness. Also you might find that one will grow a little bit faster than the other and both of these are completely normal. Number two is your body's probably going to get a little bit curvier so your hips might widen and your waist might get a little bit slimmer giving you kind of more of an hourglass curvier shape. You might also shoot up in height as well and as your body adjusts you might even notice yourself becoming a little bit more clumsy. And all this means is it might be a good time to go shopping so you can get some clothes that fit your new growing body so you can be more comfortable. Number three is hair growth. You're probably gonna notice some more hair popping up under your arms and in your pubic area. This is normal too and however you decide to manage it, if you decide to manage it, is entirely your choice. Number four is your skin. So as your hormones are kind of going crazy, it can also cause your skin to become a little bit more oily and this can cause breakouts and pimples. If it's something you're really concerned about, you can always go see a dermatologist and usually just washing your face daily, having a good skincare routine can help keep this under control. Number five is ovulation. This is something we talked a little bit about earlier. That's when the egg is released from the ovary and gets sent down the fallopian tube ready for fertilization. Some women like to track their cycles and know when they're ovulating and this awareness can just help you feel more in tune with your body and your body's natural rhythms. So yeah, all of these changes might feel a little bit overwhelming, especially if they haven't started happening yet already. And one of the most challenging parts can be accepting all of these changes for your growing body. Sometimes it can be easy to compare ourselves to others or unrealistic images on social media. Especially when our body is changing so much, it's common to feel a little bit less secure with the way our own body feels. And this is okay. But let's be real, every single body is unique. 
tall, short, thin, curvy, whatever you are, you're beautiful in your own way. Loving your body is a journey. There's gonna be good days and there's gonna be some not so good days. And on those not so good days, it's important to remember that the mirror isn't showing you the whole picture. It's not showing you how much of an amazing person you are, how kind you are, how you can make other people laugh, how great your personality is. Those are the things that make you you. And that's something to celebrate. Your body's going through a transformation. And every person, believe it or not, also has to go through this transformation sometime in their life. Whether you're growing faster or slower or more or less than your friends, you're growing at your own pace and that is the perfect pace for you to grow. There's no right way your body should look. It's perfect the way it is. So embrace it and embrace all these new exciting changes along the way. So now that we got that out of the way and hopefully we're feeling a little bit better about ourselves, I'm sure you have lots of questions about this whole puberty thing. If you wanna hear the answers to these questions about wearing a bra, that white stuff in your underwear, new hair growth, pads and tampons, make sure you subscribe to Red Drop. I answer them in full through their exclusive subscription content. So I'll leave a link below if you're curious and wanna check them out. So to recap, today we talked about quite a few things. The female anatomy and how amazing your body is when all the parts work together. Puberty and all the changes you're gonna experience. How amazingly unique your body is. Now before I sign off, here's the most important part. You're not alone on this journey. If things feel confusing or overwhelming, please reach out your mom, a teacher, your cool aunt, anyone that you trust. And we're here for you too, so please reach out to us and me here at Red Drop. Leave your comments, your questions, your concerns, stories, anything you want in the comments down below. Red Drop has tons of info and advice and products to help you navigate through all this. Remember, your body is incredible and capable of amazing things. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and check out tryreddrop.com. And for more information and educational materials, take a look at our period prep class 101.